Hi guys, DevilTrexYZ, and we are back with Moss, and hopefully you should be able to finish up the rest of the game, actually. Uh, but last time we ended up just getting our way, getting close to the castle, we just got to take care of a main sentry, and also we managed to complete all the trials. Which, because of that, you know what? I think it's time for me to upgrade my weapon loadout. One last time. Okay. Yeah, so we're just trying to get the one, uh, last gear for the century, I guess, that is active. A deserted pub, I guess. I'll take that too. Alright. Okay. I'm guessing that was like the power core to the, the sentry. You're all clear, kid. A Duran affirmed. It should be a straight shot to the castle now. Come on. That's not good. Oh, looks like it's time for their endurance. Oh, 
pretty good dodging attacks. It's not good. <laughs> it's starting to wake up. Get up. Running out of time here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch out for these explosions. This thing's waking up. I, I can't, kid. Shouted to Durin. We, we have to get out of here. Down here. It's the only way. Ah. Oh. Made a terrible mistake. What is this place? What's that smell? Durin? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how we got out of that pretty quickly. <laughs> Sense something dangerous. I'm so sorry, Quill. 
I really am. Whoa. Save for a blazing shadow poised to strike. Quill's insights felt like quicksand sinking in terror at the sight. The shape lunged, metal crashed, and a Duran's light went out. Quill's beating heart drew Sarfog's attention. It was a monster of such harrowing enormity that survival seemed impossible. Then, the reader illuminated a break in the stone. Quill dove, the opening just big enough, and narrowly escaped the snap of Sarfog's fiery jaw. <sighs> Instinct fueled Quill's desperate flee. The littered limbs of those before her served as haunting reminders that this was where so many before her met their end. Her adrenaline waned, trembling and anchored by a heavy heart. She slowed, stumbled, and crumpled to the cold ground. Quill had never felt more small and helpless. It would take an army to defeat Sarfog. Then she felt a gentle touch of warmth and mustered the strength to look up. The reader was still there, expressionless as always, but unwavering in their loyalty. Quill felt the depth of their connection, the strength that came with being twofold. They'd come so far, together. My friend, I need your help. If we don't face Sarfog now, my uncle will die. And that monster won't stop until you and I are torn apart. Will you stay with me and try? Oh. It was like we're on our own this time. Well, I guess we technically have been on our own. Garen hasn't really done much help to be honest, but if it wasn't for his sacrifice, we wouldn't have gotten to this point. in the intersection of the castle. Get away. Yeah, unfortunately, at this point, Sarfog is going to be 
after me. <laughs> Get away. That was a bad jump. Oh god. <laughs> Keep falling. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Kind of freaking out here. Kind of leaves it wide open for an attack, unfortunately. Run! Is it over? Oh god. <laughs> I 
We did it. It's over. Uh, sacred ground. <laughs> Actually, this castle looks pretty nice. <laughs> searched the silent halls. Uncle? Uncle! She called, but only her echoes responded. Hey, there's Uncle Argus. Sarfog finds you. Uncle, Sarfog is dead. His voice trembled as he spoke. The glass. The reader. You found it. I wanted to keep you safe from all this. It is not a burden you can bear alone. I'm not alone. Twofold and strong, he resigned. We're safe now, she assured him. Let's go home. No, Quill. You've never been in more danger. His voice faltered. The arcane do not end with Sarfog. The king's glass, hidden here in the castle. You must reclaim it. Where? We're ready. Promising beginning indeed. For so long, another has toiled to write an end for us all. But your bond with Quill grows strong. Your fates, yet still unwritten, are now entwined. And that gives us hope. Yes, your journey together is far from over. Rest now, dear reader. We begin again soon. <laughs> the dark would fall all right me. all right so yeah so there you have it moss an obvious setup for a sequel i mean it even says end of book one and uh <laughs> you know i gotta admit though that uh, for the most part the game itself is actually pretty nice pretty light-hearted combat was pretty uh it was pretty simple it's sort of pretty simplistic but, um, I mean, it was pretty simplistic for the sake of, uh, and for the story. Because this game more focuses on the story than really the action itself. <laughs> and I, I do like that. Um, and the story-wise, I mean, it, it kind of gets you a little bit involved with the, uh, of the past battles that have happened. And that Quill is supposed to be like the next upcoming champion, so to speak. Which I kind of do like. <laughs> uh, but you know, obviously, it's just it's kind of more focusing on the bond between Quill and the and the reader. I mean, whatever the reader is supposed to be exactly, we don't really know. They gave us not really explain that as of yet. <laughs> but uh, I mean, obviously, it, it just it's pretty much just sequel bait. And I guess also without 
Uh, they did say that... I mean, they have said that there is going to be a uh, a sequel to this game, and I think it's still in the works. I really honestly haven't heard anything about it in a while. Alright, yeah, so like I said, uh, obviously sequel bait, and like I, I've heard that there are, there is another game in, this, in the, the making right now, in development, I have no idea when, or it, it will come out. I mean, at this point, it's more likely, it's more likely possible it might be on the PS5 than anything else. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty lighthearted story, and you know, I, I do like it, the combat's pretty simplistic, as I was saying. Um... Uh, the platform skills aren't too bad. Difficulty-wise, it really wasn't that bad. I, honestly, I think most times I just died from falling off of heights. Um, yeah, I think really anything they could improve on it, I would probably say maybe just camera positioning because uh, just trying to position yourself on certain platforms just gets a little tricky because you can't quite see the elevation as to where um, as to where you're making jumps. Yeah, and sometimes you just kind of like just barely miss the jump and you can't just grab onto the ledge unfortunately but uh, I mean luckily the game does have is pretty plentiful on checkpoints so it's, it's not like you have to go all the way back to the beginning of a chapter or anything like that so I mean at least that's something <laughs> uh, but yeah I mean pretty pretty a good story I, you know I can't wait to wait for whenever they, the next game comes out like I said probably sometime maybe next year most likely, <laughs> or uh, maybe when the PS5 comes out, who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you have it. Pretty good interactive game. Uh, I, I guess I'd maybe give it a shot for those who have never even tried this yet. Alright, guys, this is Devil Hunter XYZ, and until next time.